Hello YouTube, this is Asatsu5. I got back from a gun show, it was a local gun show, and uh, they didn't have the guns I was looking for, so I came back with a knife. This is a pretty cool knife. This is the Caledonian from Cold Steel. Um, this is a very cool knife, no longer in production, and um, there's some notable things about it that I think make it look, that make it interesting. Now, for those of you who don't know, this is Cold Steel's um, take on a skin do, which is a, a Scottish knife. This for traditional dress with a kilt. And um, so um, they say it originates from the 17th uh, century. I can't remember if it was 1700s or 17th century. If it's 17th century, that'd be the 1600s. But um, it's not an ancient knife by any means. It's just a traditional knife. But uh, there's some very cool things about it. Let's look at it. Here's the blade. And um, you, know, you, you can tell this is an old cold steel knife because of all the detail that's put into it. Uh, GSM is not going to put this kind of detail into a knife. Uh, first off, you'll notice that it's very pointy, which, you know, GSM probably do that. But um, check this out. It's really thin and it has firework, not jimping. It has firework. I mean, it kind of acts as jimping, but that's not its main function. It's, it's decorative. It's not cut across is filed from the sides on either side so some people call that vine work some people call it um fi firework or vine work but it's it's definitely something you don't normally see on a production knife now um uh some other cool things uh if you look at this pin i don't know how well the camera can pick it up i might have to take a picture of it and show you, but it's, it kind of has a chrysanthemum or some kind of decorative working on the pin itself. And so, really cool. Very nice looking pin. Um, you know, it's just something that you would probably never see on a murder knife for this price. Um, I don't know how much these originally sold for, but this was $100 used at the gun show. Seems pretty reasonable compared to what you'll find it on um, uh, eBay. But let's look at some other things. I don't know if you can see this, but it has some things written on the Ricasso. It says Caledonian, April 15th, no, it's April 16th, 1746. Um, and then it has a um, symbol on the bottom of it. And this is a reference to the Battle of Caledonia during the rising of the Jacobites, or the Jacobite Rising which I don't know a whole lot about that time period and conflict. Um, but what, what's some other cool things about this? If you flip it upside down, check this out. You'll notice that the handle at the bottom is kind of curved this way. And so uh, it's that's interesting. Why would it do that? That's not by accident and it's not a flaw. Check this out. These knives were meant to be carried in the sock. So you would stick this in your sock. Keep in mind you're wearing a kilt and uh, probably some brogue shoes. Um, um, so this would lay up against your leg and it's curled out. And so it, it makes it more carryable because it's flat on this side and it's not flat on this side. It makes it more comfortable to carry in the sock and you can draw it and use it. Or draw it and use it. So, you know, if you're going to conceal carry a knife in your sock, uh, which these are not really concealed, but um, keep in mind, you know, you're traveling, you put your skin do it down and your claymore, I'm not your skin do, but your Scottish dark and your uh, claymore down, you're at the table, you have this in your sock, everybody knows you're armed, but this is a small knife uh, down at your leg. You know, it's just kind of your extra backup when you're officially unarmed, but still armed. Um, that's just a very crude way of putting it. So this is a really cool knife made by Cold Steel. Very traditional looking, has leather on the front, um, uh, Kadura on the back, or ballistic nylon on the back. Um, I wore it in my sock. 
completely comfortable, completely fine. Uh, if you're wearing a kilt or shorts, I would say this is a good thing to have. If you're wearing pants, it's gonna be a little bit difficult to get to this knife. But um, anyways, it's just a really cool knife. It has a lot of detail in it that um, most people are not gonna bother putting into a knife. I don't think this was an expensive knife back in the day, I'm not really sure, but you get um, cold steel serrations, you get firework, you get, uh, it's Japanese made, you get a very beautiful pen, and you get a reference to a historical event on it, and they actually took the time uh, to research the context of this knife, how it would be worn, how it would be carried, and how it would be used. And this, <laughs> you know, just, um, rides up against your leg like that this comes out a little bit you can get it and get uh, and, and use it so i just wanted to show that with you this is by no means like an in-depth review it's just an interesting knife that i got and um, it does kind of retain upside down a little bit not that that's really important i can shake it out but it's it retains pretty well but yet i can draw this from the sock i can have this clipped to my sock and draw it so that's it, I'm Asatsu5 and I'm out.